hey guys welcome back to my channel and this is a video showing you how i did my first ever full set so if you want to see how i created this look stay tuned so what i'm doing first is i'm prepping the client's natural nail before the acrylic application and this will help ensure that you would not have any lifting you have to remove the cuticle by pushing back the cuticle using a cuticle pusher and then removing the shine from the natural nail so doing so i took a medium grit sanding band and i have my drill on the lowest speed because you don't want to do much damage to the natural nail and i'm removing that shine from the natural nail now i changed my drill bit and now i'm using the i think it's the cuticle one to remove to remove the cuticle from the nail Now, I've already sized my nails, so I'm taking my nail glue and I'm sticking my tips to the client's natural nail. You want to make sure that the nail tips fit. You want to, if it's a little too big, it's better than if it's a little too small, because if it's too small, most of those tips have that curve and that nail will try to snap back into place and your nail can crack. So it's better to have it a little hanging over the sides and then you could just shape it to the desired nail and your nail would not break off. Now I'm going to cut down the client's nail and you always want to make sure that they agree with the size before you start cutting make sure each one matches the next What I'm doing now is I'm taking my straight edge nail clipper and I'm shaping the nails into a coffin shape, which would make it easier and would require less filing to shape the nail. Now I'm just lightly filing the nail tip into the natural nail so it blends into the natural nail. <laughs> and all of this is just prep for a smoother application and to ensure that your nails last as long as possible. Now I'm just shaping the coffin shape as precise as I can get it so that when I do lay my acrylic over it, I could minimize the amount of filing that I'll have to do after acrylic application. Now I'm taking my Valentino nail dehydrator and I'm applying that to the natural nail. And that definitely sucks up any oils that your natural nail may have produced after filing. That is to re-ensure that there is no shine on the nail. And then after that, I took my nail primer, also from Valentino, and I did two coats, which for the length of the video, I may have cropped out. 
Now I'm going in with a very thin coat of clear acrylic powder since the acrylics that I'm using are colored acrylics and sometimes those may tend to lift quicker. So I'm just putting on a very thin coat of clear as a prime, as a base to the colored acrylics. Now for the pinky, I did an all glitter nail. So I'm taking this glittered acrylic from Valentino and I am just laying that on the nail. Notice for this nail, which was my first one, I think I applied the clear acrylic a little too thick underneath. And so that nail was a little bit higher than I wanted it to be. Then again, it was my first time, so I think I gotta eat for effort. I'm now going in with this neon yellow, this beautiful bright neon yellow shade from Valentino. And I want to say that the shade is called Wicked. I'm not 100% sure. But I am ombreing this nail and I'm going to try my best to explain it. So I laid this coat down and to the beginning where the acrylic meets the natural nail, I try to brush that a little thinner so that I can easily coat the next color on top of it to give it that ombre effect. Here I took a little bit more of that neon color to brush it down into that second color that I used to bring the ombre down a little bit and I actually tried to perfect my ombre. For this nail, I'm taking this very pale yellow. I think I'm upset with this yellow as well. I thought it was going to be a little bit more pigmented in color. But I'm taking this yellow and I'm basing that down for my ombre nail. And then the second color I'm using is glitter. So this is kind of like an accent nail because I'm coating it with glitter on top of that nail. Here I'm repeating the same steps I did for the nail before the previous nail that I just did. So I'm going to have two that ombre color and then I'm going to have three accent nails. So this is another accent nail where I'm ombreing the neon. I'm putting the neon down first. And then I'm going to put this pretty glitter acrylic over that. On this side, I'm just repeating all the steps I did for the previous nails. As you can see, my client is just put her nail in all the lighting i think she's over there like do i trust her do i like this is this gonna come out good yes it is nervous doing it for your first time and your client is watching her hand like <laughs> but the applicant the acrylic application especially for beginners is always a little risky because you just never know how that's gonna turn out but thank god there is more steps to this and when we get to filing we will get to shape it exactly how we want to shape it guys this set took me literally three and a half hours halfway through i'm like yo i don't know if i like this like why am i sitting here filing for so long it is it is the filing part 
after the acrylic because you're trying to shape it exactly how you want it to be shaped you're trying to make sure it's smooth you're trying to make sure it's perfect you're trying to make sure it fits listen that filing part i swear i was filing forever and ever and ever amen So when I finish with all my color glitters, I'm going to go in with my clear acrylic powder from Mia Secret and I'm going to encapsulate those nails. Also while encapsulating, I'm going to also try to build my apex because the layers of acrylic that I used for the ombre and the glitters, I just placed it down. I didn't really use much of the acrylic to build my apex because I knew I still had to encapsulate the nails so i just build the apex with the clear acrylic powder do you see her checking for her nails again like girl if you don't stop don't you trust me do you not trust me guys she would not stop looking at her nails i think she was telling me that we're gonna have to do them over because she just did not trust and i don't even think they look bad i thought they were pretty good i could have seen the potential in this acrylic application wow please excuse my background i definitely live close to the street Now here comes the fun part. That's definitely sarcasm if you couldn't tell. The filing. Now what we're doing, after you place the acrylic application, it tends to kind of lose that shape that you did prior to applying the acrylic. So you just have to go back in and file it as sharp and as precise as you desire. And that definitely, well, as I said, being that I'm a beginner, the goal is to eventually be able to lay the application good enough where I get to minimize the amount of filing that I do. As you can see here, I am using my McCart Nail Dust Collector. And this collects all the dust when you're filing your client's nails so it, pre it prevents most of that dust from flying in your face and getting on your clothes
Now I'm going in with my Melody Susie Sheendro. And I'm using my extra fine drill bit. I think it's extra fine. And I am going around the cuticle area to get that nice and flush. This is a very important part because this is one of the major steps that you would have to do to make sure that your client does not have any lift in. I'm not going to lie. I was scared using this drill every two minutes. I was like, did you feel that? Did it hurt? Is it hurting you? Am I drilling too hard? Like, I was so paranoid with this drill in my hand. And she was like, girl, would you stop? I'm not feeling anything. But, you know, it's just first time jitters, man. Now, as you can see, I changed my drill bit to the thin one, which I think is the cuticle remover one. I don't know, but a pet peeve is seeing all the lumps and the bumps behind the nail. So I like to turn the client's hand over and clean up behind of the nail. Now I'm taking that same drill bit and I am going in closer to the cuticle area to try to get that area very flush in between there. As you can see, my head is all in there. Like I am in it to win it. You can see all in my head, which was definitely not intentional, but I, I had to get up in there. <laughs> If you've watched this video in its entirety and you seen something that I could have done different or you have a tip for me, something that you've noticed while you were doing nails or what you saw that I may have done wrong, I am definitely open to constructive criticism and I'm very much open to suggestions and you could leave those comments suggestions down below Next, I take a hand file and I just go over the shape of the nail, file over the shape of the nail, make sure that there are no lumps, everything is filed clean, and the nails are ready for me to buff and polish. Now I'm taking a buffer and I am buffing out her nails and this removes all the scratches from the all the filing so that when you apply your polish, whether it be a top coat or whatever kind of polish, it goes on very smoothly. 
before the polish i am taking my rich beautiful smelling if i might add cuticle oil and i put the cuticle oils on her fingers had her rubbed it in and then i took alcohol sprayed her hands down and then brushed off all the oil and all the dust that may have been left that may have been left that may have been left on her nails like it is so hard trying to speak proper english and not let my accent completely shine because i need you guys to understand me so i'm just you know making these nails extra pretty by adding some gems and so i'm just carefully placing those down and i am using this is a gem set so all of these came together with the gem picker upper <laughs> the putty glue the gems and the brush all came in a set so after putting on these gems i would put the hand in the uv light to cure for 90 seconds and that is how the gems stick you have to cure the gems and after you cure the gems your gems are not moving so i did gem placements on all the plain ombre nails and i'm just i'm just doing a little cute design to help accentuate that coffin shape i'm using a full gem set that i got from amazon and it came with the glue the tweezers and the brush when applying this gem glue i like to smooth out the edges of the glue so that when the nail is completely done and dried and you've polished over it you can't see where that glue have been placed and it's as neat as it can possibly be now that i'm finished with that since the gems have to cure i'm just gonna put the top coat on all the nails so that everything can cure at the same time so i'm just putting on that top coat and i think that top coat is from beetles i like it i have no issues with it and i'm gonna put it in my uv lamp for 90 seconds Well, guys, this wraps up this set that I did for my first time. Comment below. Tell me how I did. Show me or tag me in your full set videos. And thank you for joining this journey with me. And see you guys in my next video.